For them to have the intentions of just knocking over the rock for the sole purpose of being vandals just, you know, just makes me upset. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 tourist attractions ruined by morons. Any American who stands in those beautiful places will be equally angry about this. I mean, it's something that every American feels very close to. For this list, we'll be looking at the times tourists caused damage to historic and otherwise noteworthy travel locations. Which of these angers you the most? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Casa dos Moros Dolmen, Vigo, Spain Despite the fact that there are so many morons doing moronic things in this world, it's always kind of shocking when things like this happen. A popular tourist attraction in Virgo, Spain is the Casa dos Moros Dolmen, a 4,000-year-old megalithic stone formation. In 2016, someone spray-painted one of the dolmen stones with a symbol from Harry Potter of all things and wrote always with what appears to be an emoticon heart at the end. It's honestly an inexplicable action and defies any common sense. Dolmens are believed by archaeologists to be tombstones and grave sites, so not only is this immature, it is highly disrespectful. Treacherous little bleeder. Is there no one we can trust? Number 9. Margate Beach, Margate, England. This is something that happens frequently, but let's just pick out one beach in particular. Margate in Kent, UK, refers to itself as the original seaside on tourist sites and is home to many attractions such as a theme park and art galleries. In 2019, an event attracting around 500 people was held on the beach, in addition to the number of usual beachgoers. The event was provided with trash bins, bags, and plenty of provisions to not make a huge mess in the sand. This was all futile, however, as visitors were said to leave a heartbreaking amount of litter on the beach. The seagulls were thrilled, humans not so much. Andy? Are you gonna clean that up? Oh yeah. I will. Number 8. The Cliffs of Moore, Ireland The Cliffs of Moore were naturally formed over 320 million years ago and are a unique geological wonder to behold on the coast of Ireland. They've been declared part of a UNESCO Global Geopark, which means that there is extra effort to conserve the location and its awe-striking visuals. However, we clearly can't have nice things. This particular location is out of the way. It won't be visible to tourists by and large. Uh, my concern is that other people copycat will, will do other artwork. In 2013, two French graffiti artists who go by Mama and Dirty Edouard decided to spray paint an 8 by 6 foot swirly, multicolored, and impossibly unwelcome abstract piece of street art on the cliffs. Why? Just why? Why would you do such a foolish thing? Geologists were quick to assess the damage, some saying that erosion and waves will likely naturally remove the paint. However, it could take years and possibly decades to entirely disappear. The rock's 300 million years old. It's got its own natural beauty. It's weathered by the waves, the wind, over vast periods of time. That's what people come to see. They don't come to see somebody spray painting it. Number 7. The Little Mermaid Statue, Copenhagen, Denmark Copenhagen's most famous statue, the Little Mermaid, has been victim to vandalism an astonishing number of times over the years. Well, look at what the catfish dragged in! <laughs> look at you! Look at you! There's something different! It seems people have seen the piece fit for a number of protest declarations. The statue was commissioned in 1909 and has since been beheaded twice, had her arm sawed off, was found floating in the harbor, held some adult toys, and has been covered in paint a couple of times. In 2020, a vandal spray-painted the words racist fish onto the stone beneath the mermaid without any direct explanation. A number of monuments have been defaced in the past few years with explanations. It's hard to see what the character that would eventually become Ariel did to anybody, however. Number 6. 15 Statues, Parque Museo La Venta, Tabasco, Mexico the problem with allowing tourists to view historical objects in a large open space is that they are much too close to the artifacts. Stay back! Kaiju specimens are extremely rare, so look but don't touch! This has often been an issue in the British Museum for the same reason. The Parque Museo La Venta is a stunning outdoor museum and park in which visitors can view centuries-old Almec culture sculptures. In 2018, two men, tourists from Indonesia, were taken into custody after damaging 15 of these sculptures by pouring oil all over them. 15! It's difficult to know why anyone would do this, but thankfully, these two idiots were caught. 
Number 5. Azalea Trees, Liangshan, China The Sichuan province of China is home to an incredibly beautiful bloom of azalea trees and idyllic scenery. Because of this, thousands of tourists flock to the area in their cars, blocking local traffic and life. That's not the worst part, however. The tourists can't just look with their eyes. Aside from the trash left everywhere, tourists have been known to uproot and steal the azalea trees, tear the branches off to get better pictures, and even use the azalea branches to start barbecue fire pits. Azalea trees can only grow 2,800 feet above sea level atop mountains, and are thus delicate to begin with. These are earthly wonders that will rapidly disappear with continued barbaric behaviors. And by the way, smoking, don't. Apparently, it wilts the azaleas. Number 4. The Duckbill Rock Formation, Oregon, U.S. The Duckbill was a sandstone rock in Cape Kowanda State Natural Area in Oregon, U.S. It was an ancient hoodoo formation, which is basically a tall, thin spire naturally resembling a duck's head, hence its nickname. The key word here is was, as it's no longer there. In 2016, a group of teenagers decided to topple the formation over, destroying it. Ah, got him! The search is on today for these knuckleheads who toppled an iconic rock formation. Over the years, the structure had become weakened from the abundant amount of visitors climbing it, so the park had erected a fence around it to avoid tourist contact. Claiming to be doing the park a public service to avoid accidents, sure. The teens pushed the rock until it collapsed and shattered. Kind of just like laughed it off, took it with pride that they destroyed something magnificent and then just kind of disappeared right after. Number three, the Hot Springs, Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming. Yellowstone is known for its impressive natural hot springs, and many a tourist has done stupid things in or around them. However, this one is a slow burn caused by a large number of visitors. Morning Glory is one of the most famous springs. Images from the 1940s show the spring in its former glory, pun intended, with a tropical blue hue, hence its floral name. However, recent photos show the spring is now a dark green, edged with yellow and orange. Guests started complaining of a strange colored water and also a foul odor. This has been proven recently to be due to the abundant amount of pennies, rocks, and general trash tourists throw into Morning Glory. If your penny wish was to ruin a stunning natural phenomenon, congratulations. Number 2. 7 U.S. National Parks, U.S. Social media has really led to some moronic behavior in the past decade or so. It's on Instagram, that. Over 26 days in the fall of 2014, 23 year old Casey Knockett defaced government property in seven U.S. national parks with her graffiti, which consisted of her mediocre artwork and Instagram handle. She claims to have done so, quote, in the name of art. But that's a little hard to believe, given the social media info provided. Knockett even bragged about using acrylic paint. And when an Instagram user told her it would be difficult to wipe off rock, she replied, I know. I'm a bad person. Due to said info, she was quickly tracked down and caught by authorities. Knockett was subsequently sentenced to two years probation and is banned from all government-owned parks. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. The Pyramids and the Sphinx, Egypt Arguably the most recognizable tourist attractions, the Egyptian Pyramids and the Sphinx are subject to decline due to massive amounts of visitors. There are some natural phenomenon at work here, such as breath and humidity from tourists in abundance doing damage to the ancient structure walls. However, there is, of course, a human stupidity element as well. Once again, people can't just use their eyes. Tourists have been known to chip away at the rocks on the attractions to get souvenirs, as well as flat-out steal parts of artifacts and illegally climb the structures. In 2013, the Temple of Luxor was defaced by a teenage tourist who wrote the classic So-and-so was here on ancient Egyptian artwork. Bravo! It was an accident! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.